The vibration controller is one of the four principal components of a vibration shaker. The controller is where the test engineer defines the test conditions which will be applied to the test article during the vibration test. These test conditions are defined in the vibration test method. There are many different types of test conditions or profiles which can be defined in a vibration controller. The most commonly performed tests on a vibration shaker, like sine vibration, random vibration, and mechanical shock can all be defined in a vibration controller. Modern vibration controllers consist of a PC, where the controller software resides, and a signal conditioner interface module. The amplifier drive signal input as well as one or more accelerometers connect to the controller through the signal conditioner interface module. The controller operates as a closed loop system. In its most basic form, this control system receives a signal from an accelerometer which is mounted to the shaker armature. From this signal, the controller determines the acceleration and frequency which are present at the armature, compares this with what they are supposed to be in a test profile, and adjusts an analog drive signal which feeds the amplifier. The amplifier output drives the mechanical movement of the armature, which is sensed by the accelerometer. The controller compares the new accelerometer signal to the test profile and continues to adjust the amplifier drive signal in a closed loop until the accelerometer signal matches the test profile. This control loop cycle can occur at up to 50 kilohertz. Simple vibration controllers have one accelerometer channel and can only measure and control at one location, usually the armature or slip table surface. More complex controllers can measure multiple accelerometers simultaneously. This allows the test engineer to measure the response of the test article at other locations other than the armature or slip table surface. This is particularly important when the resonance response of the vibration fixture has not been characterized prior to the vibration test, since the test level at the armature or slip table surface can be quite different at the test article mounting locations. Controllers can average the output from multiple accelerometers in a technique appropriately called averaging and use this signal to control the armature. Averaging can be used to mitigate some of the negative consequences of vibration fixture resonances. Averaging does not correct fixture resonances Instead, it permits the test engineer to use the full width of the test tolerance to bring the measure profiles into better control. Consequently, this technique should only be relied upon when reasonable efforts have already been made to design out resonances in a fixture. Your vibration test engineer can explain how to match the capabilities of a vibration controller to the needs of your vibration testing project.